Hey guys, how are you today? You know, nothing is lost in Christ. He is a miracle worker, promise keeper, way maker. He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Today, I just want to share a little testimony with you. A testimony that ex exclaims nothing is lost in Christ relationships are not lost in Christ nothing can be snatched from his hands uh, healing is in his hands jobs positions even appointments are in his hands have you ever lost something valuable to you and you wish you knew where it was well I want to encourage you if you have faith in Christ to start saying nothing is lost in Christ and just believe him that whatever that thing is that you misplaced will be found um, once I and my children were in the store I had got my income tax I was all excited so we went shopping got everything we needed um, made it to the register and guess what my purse was not there um, so I told my children in this low voice go look for mom's purse remember to keep our faith nothing is lost in Christ and they went looking and so did I and it ended up being in the dressing room. There was a lady sitting next to my purse, guys. So I'm not sure if she had the intention of, you know, taking my um, wallet and, you know, taking my money. But God is so good that he showed me that nothing is impossible with God. And so my purse was right there and I didn't lose anything. So that increased my faith. Um, and how I came about hearing nothing is lost in Christ, a friend of mine, dear, dear friend of mine, shared with me that his mom used to say nothing is lost in Christ. And when he shared that with me, he shared that she would misplace something, um, including her glasses, and she would say nothing is lost in Christ. And she would find whatever it was that she said. So when he said that to me, it inspired me. It encouraged me to say, too, nothing is lost in Christ. I believe if God said it, <coughs> excuse me, if he said it, it is. He said, um, let there be light. <laughs> that was light. So I believe that there is power in God's word. And so I just keep that going on in my life. And I've shared it with my husband, who I am going to interview and let you hear his side of how God um, showed him that nothing is lost in Christ. How many of you know that your faith can transfer to someone else who may be lacking in a certain area, who may want to believe but have nothing that they could, um, nothing to say that they could, nothing to relate it to? Well, all of us can relate to nothing is lost in Christ. Um, one other thing, I this happened just recently. I had scheduled an appointment to get my hair done and it was one day no two days before I want to say it was two days before it was time for me to get my hair done and my beautician um, actually texted me and said I will not be able to do your hair I don't want to do your hair I was like are you kidding me you know I got my party coming up I don't know what to do um, well I knew what to do try to find someone else but I didn't want to go through the through the trying to find someone else um, that's gonna change the price and blah 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 you know the whole spiel of that so anyway 
I wrote to a friend of mine who I had asked, could you find out if your braider can braid my hair? And she said she'll look into that the next day. And at the bottom of, you know, while we were texting, I said to her, you know, I believe nothing is lost in Christ, not even my appointment. Well, the next day, I ended up calling my braider. Now, believe it, she was not texting me back after she said that. I kept asking her why, blah, blah, blah. She did not respond. But that morning, she did respond. You know, and she ended up saying that she would do my hair for me. So I just want to shout, nothing is lost in Christ. Not even a hair appointment. Okay, all things work together for the good of them, those that love God, who he has called according to his purpose. Sisters and brothers, believe in God. Put, you can put everything on the table and trust God that he's going to bring it to pass. Whatever he say, it is true. So I hope that you are encouraged by my testimony and how it also inspired my husband and a dear friend of mine um, in this video don't forget to like please comment and subscribe and share this video with those who you think it would inspire as well be blessed okay guys we're gonna welcome my husband uh, to share his um, how nothing is lost in Christ has impacted his life so <laughs> first I'll ask him um, babe when he had lost his ring misplaced it it had been a few days and i said to him nothing is lost in christ i had already shared before how nothing is lost in christ um impacted my life and so i want to ask him how did it impact yours once you um misplaced your ring and i said you're gonna have to yeah. well, believe it was interesting i really hadn't uh, been faced with this kind of thing before and it was uh, i was sort of neutral, I guess, so I went along with it. I said, why not? And uh, that's what we did. So we thought about the ring, where it might be. We had uh, been doing a new lawn, and so we had straw all over the lawn, and one day we had picked up all the straw, and it was in plastic bags, I don't know, 10, 12 big black plastic bags. <laughs> And so, so they were bagged. Yeah, they were bagged. And uh, at, at one point we said, wonder if the ring fell off when we were bagging the straw, all that hay. And all I thought of was the old needle in a haystack <laughs> issue. But what was great is I went out and the first bag I picked. Out of 12 bags. I opened the bag. And as soon as I opened the bag, there on top of the hay on the straw was the ring. What? <laughs> yeah, what? So, so how did that you... was funny? I mean, I had to laugh. That was funny, proving God... that God has a sense of humor. All right. And then recently, um, we had sent out mail. Well, my husband sent out. We got a gift over um, for my daughter. We got a gift. And she doesn't live in the same state that we live in, so he was wanted to mail it. And I was like, well, no, babe, let's just wait till she get here. She'll come soon, you know. And he was like, no, I want to go ahead and mail it so she can receive it. So I forgot that she had just moved, and so I put the old address on it. And so it went out, tracked it. It had been delivered, but she hadn't received it. A month had passed. Yeah, and I had, you know what I said? I told you not to send it, <laughs> you know? So anyway, I texted her and say, had you received it? And of course she sent back, she had, and within that 24 hour range, now guys, after a month, um, within that 24 hours, after that last text, I got a letter from what I assume is a young woman, possibly a foreigner, the way it was composed, uh, all, so I thought Asian, just the whole demeanor and everything. And it was that she had found, or somebody had given this package to her at work, and it had my return address on it, so she wrote the address to me and said, is this you? Because I saw it was from a father, and I was concerned where it should go. 
And so I texted her, she gave the phone number, and asked her to send it to my daughter, and I would reimburse her. She was so sweet, said, no, you don't need to reimburse me, I'll be glad to forward it on. I did, in fact, reimburse her, and she forwarded it on, and my daughter got it. So, how about that? I thought that was really, really far-fetched you know what I mean but I still held my faith onto that too nothing is lost in Christ because when it happened that's the first thing I said nothing is lost in Christ so she received it what a blessing so I just wanted to share how that has impacted someone else's life not just my own God is good he is faithful and um, he brings all things together he is the master chief and cornerstone and he unfolds mysteries so when we share our testimony with one another it impacts somebody else's life when they believe that he is a miracle working god nothing is too big or too small for him i mean male okay hey guys as promised this is my beautiful friend sylvan sister in christ um we've been on each other for what about a year and something now mm -hmm. almost two but anyway, so I was helping Sylvan get ready for her wedding. Uh, we came over, I don't remember exactly what we was doing this particular day, but I had been a couple places and I ended up um, losing my, or uh, misplacing my earring and I couldn't find it. So, um, and it was an original earring. It wasn't one that I could, you know, go in the store and say, could you, you know, duplicate this. It was made especially for me. Mm -hmm. Anyway, what happened, Sylvan? And um, you came over. You were actually helping me with the decorations and That's stuff right, for the wedding. Mm -hmm. And um, so when you came, I guess you dropped the earring somewhere, and then um, we couldn't find it when it was time for you to leave. And it took us like two hours, maybe, just looking for the earring everywhere in the car, at home, you know. And we didn't find it. And then finally, you were like you know what nothing is lost in Christ and when she said that you know I just I agreed but not in faith you know but I just agreed because I thought it was like a comfort measure you know how sometimes you just say things as a Christian just to comfort mm -hmm. you know yourself I mean some people do believe you know but so when she said nothing is lost in Christ, I was like, you know, yeah, nothing is lost in Christ. But I didn't agree because I believe. I just agree because it will, anything to say to comfort her would be better. So um, a couple of days, I get a couple of weeks, you know, when um, I totally forgot about the earrings. You know, I drove home one day and um, it was on my way to to the house. I find, uh, found her earring hanging right on my door, like right on the side of my door. And I was like, wow, so this earring has been here for like almost a month, you know, and the earring was still there. So I was just shocked by then. And then I remember what she said, that nothing is lost in Christ. And then I was like, wow, nothing is really lost in Christ. And then I... I guess since then, you know, I just believe, you know, whenever something is lost, I say, you know, the same thing, nothing is lost in Christ, and I really believe it this time, you know. Amen. Yeah. And I called her, and she got her <laughs> earrings back, so nothing is really lost in Christ. Say someone I didn't believe, and now I do believe. Amen. Do believe. Isn't that beautiful? That's transferring faith. Yes. So here's my sister. <laughs> in Christ and I'm so thankful for you joining me and sharing that nothing is lost in Christ with yeah. the viewers Definitely. so yeah. Um, don't forget to hit that like button comment and subscribe and if you lose something remember to say nothing, nothing is, is lost, lost in Christ, Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen love you sister love you